Grand rising to my king, queen, gods, and goddesses. It is your boy, Terrible Warren Star. Got to break it down to the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Now, this is a disclaimer. This is a general read and take it as it resonates. But if it resonates for you, hit that like, comment, subscribe button, and share it to other Virgos like us or somebody who needs the reading. Now, if not, you know, I try to do the best I can being your reader. So, with that basically being said, Virgo, the title of this one is You at a Major Crossroad, okay? Again, you at a major crossroad. So, I feel like Virgo go intuitively now you at a time at a certain point in life where you may have went through some recent pain very recent and now you are starting to trans transition towards something better i feel like you are no longer being slave into anything toxic or you may be finding the acknowledgments by doing shadow work within yourself or from this lack of faith that you had probably in a certain type of situation or maybe in a type of person now i do feel like you are moving forward and you are transitioning to leave things behind virgo but right now you became into a stagnated point where you don't know what you want to do some of you may feel confused some of you may not do, get the understanding that you need now uh, you must have to decide about a major choice Virgo uh, you may feel stagnated or maybe a confusion about some close energy that's near you okay take it as it resonate so you like at a fork in a row like it feel like that is this worth my time? If this not worth my time, should I invest into this new job opportunity or should I go back in into my old habits? Virgo spirit want me to tell you both roads on this journey that you're going to take no matter what choice is going to be for this new cycle. It's going to be very, very challenging. OK, but one is going to help you work on your stability as well as your insecurities towards your abundance. Now, the other one uh, is more about emotional repair from a past situation that help you stand in your power. Now, uh, the one that's for stability and abundance, you may need to understand. Uh, I've done a pre reading on this before I got into the energy, I had to understand more about it. And I had the Queen of uh, Pentacles basically being in reverse, so this can be your energy Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus type of energy. So I feel like right now, one road that you may be on, you may be on this one now where I feel like there's no stability right now or no abundance coming in because of some type of pain or some type of hurt or some type of creative blockage within your mind. So now I feel like you are trying to get yourself back together mentally changing through the adversities and with your communication maybe somebody's trying to win it win with you at all costs maybe you're trying to win at all costs but right now you need to have time for yourself to rest and reprogram refresh yourself because in order to grow or to move forward you're gonna have to take a pause to sit back and understand now i feel like on the other side of the road this can be two type of energies as well take it as it resonate but i feel like on the other side of the road that you may want to take because you had a fort like you done dip in both sides. One side is dealing with the cycle, uh, the Ten of Cups basically being in reverse. So I feel like it may be cycles of disappointment that you may be going through for your emotional repairs or maybe some type of loss. But I feel like right now, Spirit is trying to help you get back in your power on this. If you choose to choose this role for some of you, where your demands are being met and you at your last step towards your victory with action towards this happiness or a happy reunion with somebody or some, some type of reconciliation. So it's like two energies you got one side like it's like you may be dealing with a gemini that's what i'm saying it's like it's two sides to a story two sides to this but virgo you at a major crossroad where the energies are splitting and it's a choice that spirit wants you to take okay now with that basically being said let's go ahead and get into meditation i'm not going to be with you long today uh if you want to read them please hit that uh in the description box below please hit that like comment subscribe button as well but let's go ahead and get into it spirit guys in the universe we thank you right now for everybody coming on the channel especially virgo lead us guide us give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good about anything that's going on with this major crossroad. Anybody who wish any ill will, negativity, any hindrance towards Virgo or anybody watching, we're not going to return that back to the sender, but we're going to turn it to the universe in abundance of love. Ashe, Ashe, Amen. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get into meditation right quick. Let's breathe in this positive energy, release it out and get straight to work, baby. Okay, breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy, positive light, Full abundance towards your highest good, Virgo, and understanding. Now hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we're letting that go. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance towards your highest good and understanding. And hold it, Virgo. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not for you, we're letting that go. One more time, Virgo. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light, full abundance towards your highest good and hold it. 
and release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, Virgo, will let it go back to the universe in abundance of love. Ashe, Ashe, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got for the main energy for us for this crossroad. Uh, already done a pre-shovel, so we got the downloads, but we're going to figure out what's your energy and the choices that you may take, okay? Spirit guys and the universe, what is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Ashe. Can I get one more, please? Oh, I'm going to take that one because it's cross. Yeah. Virgo, what you don't see coming is something that you are tapping into your emotions about once you release your fear and become fully grounded, okay? Now, I feel like some of you may be going through a little tensions. I feel like uh, not only that, tapping into your emotions, I feel like you may be in emotionally in some little bit of pain or maybe someone or something has disappointed you, okay? Now, the main energy that we have right now for us for this current energy, Virgo, is the King of Wands basically being a right. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy or the, your willpower or your determination or the way or how you're moving in action. So with the King of Wands is basically letting me know that the energy that you have right now, you are being uh, like a visionary right now. Some of you may be entrepreneurs uh, working on new projects and it's now some of you probably became that as well. But right now, I feel like the energy that you have right now, you are starting to get back to standing your power. I feel like no, uh, not only that, you having a vision or a very very vision to walk into action uh, against somebody who's probably being immature, naive, uh, somebody who's uh, not really putting in or reciprocating the way that it needs to be. Now, I feel like somebody may be irresponsible as well. So I feel like the actions you are taking place dealing with this irresponsible energy, I feel like the challenge is, I feel like somebody's immature and you, what you want to do, Virgo, you are looking for a happy ending. You are looking for some type of uh, union with this person or some type of expansion dealing with your emotions, but starting a new creative, uh, creative starter point or you trying to put in effort to show this person that, hey, I'm in a vision where I I want you in this situation and now uh, the person that you may be dealing with is maybe having you in a no communication or this may be your energy where you feeling foolish and naive about some type of situation that you let take uh, let been taken for granted okay Virgo now take it take it as it resonate but I also feel like the challenge is it could be a third party situation for some of you or it could be somebody interfering or being in the triangle of you and your emotions okay Virgo but I think you having that vision because the king of one is very very ambitious and they very uh they can see very very well they very analytical not only that they um they sit in a lot of power. This could be a um, not only an earth sign. I could say it could be somebody who, uh, for some of you, who like hot, like who like weather uh, very warm. Or not only that, they probably hot tempered. But I feel like uh, if this is you, I feel like it's a vision of the way that you carry yourself right now because something in a, of the situation that became very immature. Something may have kicked off out of nowhere, but it created something about a a, a happy moment from a happy ending for somebody being. In mature and maybe you want a new starting point or this person want a new starting point with you. Spirit guys and the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. Ashe, can I get a clarification for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. I also feel like Virgo, even though by looking at this, I feel like uh, you're being more stable and not only that, it's like you have survived or went through a lot of hard times. Uh, maybe with a job type of situation, I feel like uh, a lot of things that almost ran you dry. Uh, not only that, I feel like somebody's draining your energy or draining your cups until it's dry with emotions. So not only that, I feel like even though uh, immature energy or somebody being naive, somebody's not being responsible. And yes, it created you to be feeling like you are out of control, feeling like you at rock bottom, feeling very stressed out beyond your control about some type of happy ending that you want. Now, this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be you intuitively. You want to expand with this person and it's something that you really really want to offer uh, with love, uh, with union, but not only that, I feel like with the Eight of Swords basically being in reverse, you tried to offer this, but it created some type of setback or some type of lack of direction. Now, not only that, I feel like... Uh, 
somebody could have rejected this happy ending or something could have happened with this happy ending where it created you to be a little bit defensive and bitter, okay? But however, I feel like the actions that's taking place, somebody want to come back to you or maybe you want to go to somebody with this new starting point or somebody's starting to put effort to understand, okay, I see the power of this Virgo. This Virgo is a king of wands and they want nothing but happiness. So you are trying to create that starting point towards happiness and this is what you want and this person wants this as well. But I feel like right now it may be a situation that created some type of stagnation where spirit is kind of just uh separating the energy just for a temporary uh temporarily moment now you gotta also think about in this full moon energy this is one of the strongest energies that i have ever ran across virgo and i'm just being honest now uh this is hitting everybody around the board so maybe this can be uh, uh could affect probably the potential person that you are with and maybe created the discord uh because this is the time for everybody to start seeing what they want around this time. It's a major energetic shift, okay, Virgo? Now, just keep that in mind. Take it as it resonates. Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Ashe. What else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Ashe. Ashe. Let's go ahead and see what we got, Virgo. Let's go ahead. Ooh. So Virgo, I see right now, it's the Five of Swords basically being in reverse. So I feel like right now, logically, you are starting to see things better as, as it was. So I understand. Let's go back through this story. I feel like the vision that you are having for someone could have been someone with some immature, a naive, or some irresponsible type energy that may logically put you in a trap or put you in an emotional uh, instability because you wanted a happy ending or you wanted something beautiful to go with this person. Now, it could have been a new cycle where it could have been a third party that was in play that could have set back the motion of the relationship, but I think this person want to come back with a new starting point or a new effort towards fulfillment and happiness with you, Virgo. Okay? Now, I also feel like the challenges may be in a play is, is somebody that may be trying to cover up something, so watch out for this type of energy, Virgo, or I feel like it's some type of resolution that may be coming to a place. I feel like somebody may apologize about their ego because Virgo, I feel like you may have done some no communication because I seem like this uh, person probably wants to win at all costs. So I feel like even though you said back, now you're starting to understand that you got options. Not only options, Virgo, you are illuminating to the point where spirit is trying to get you to understand that you don't got to go through the conflicts. You don't got to go through this type of energy because now you're looking at different options or this uh, person may really Realize that they know you have options from you avoiding your pain and releasing yourself to somebody who's going to be more of an empath, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody who's going to be in prone to your personal needs. Okay, Virgo, take it as it resonates. Now, not only that, I also feel like somebody, I feel like it could have been an air sign of somebody who is very good at communication that may be trying to win at all costs, or maybe it was something that you was visionary about and seen about this person, and they just flipped the energy around, or it can be any any sign Virgo just take it as it resonates but I know air signs is deal with logic and communication so I feel like Virgo for you you had the vision to take that leap of faith and somebody uh, very immature probably done made you feel like you was at rock bottom you wanted happiness union stability you wanted all with this person but this person probably set you back or probably denied some type of offer but now here come this person seeing you after you probably shut down on something or maybe even with a job it may be something that you have stopped doing and now they want to start a new offer or a new starting point with you to get, bring you back towards your happiness, okay? But again, with the Five of Swords basically being a right, I was telling you this is this person's energy. They may feel like they're trying to win at all costs, but I feel like right now you start to see the cover-up and you start hitting that resolution or start realizing that you got options, Virgo, not uh, somebody who want to fill your cup emotionally. Now, you got to understand, be careful because none of these have water in them, so, so nobody is going to try to fill you emotionally, but you got uh, opportunities and new offers as you stay intuitive in what's going on, okay? The more you being intuitive on this road, Virgo, and the more you releasing this pain and releasing this mental anguish within your mind, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're releasing yourself and going through a transition where you becoming this king of pentacles. You being more back in your routine, more back in your stability, more back in your walk. And what it's doing is showing other people the empathic side of you. So I feel like uh, somebody could be looking at you like this as you realize that uh, you see the resolution within yourself 
yourself. You are no longer covering up who you really are. Or somebody may be trying to cover up something from you still, but you got to understand it's still going to be a slow motion with this, okay? Still going to be slow about you going through the process of this, about somebody may uh, got a revelation about an ego. Somebody probably want to change their ego. Somebody probably want to change the way how they value you, Virgo, into something better. Uh, I feel like options that you have, you never looked at it into this uh, situation or maybe you never looked about going out into someone or your job treated you so poorly, okay? Now, uh, not only that, Virgo, I also want to say it, may, it will be some delays in this as well as you going through the process. So once you understand that, but just remember, go back through yourself with the Six of Cups and the nostalgic moments and remember the good times that you had and transmute this energy that you have into something better, okay, Virgo? Take it as it resonates. Now, not only that, I also feel like you just want happiness, Virgo. I feel like somebody's, I feel like this energy is going to come in and bring happiness, Virgo, but I feel like it's a mental uh, challenges that you may see in yourself. I feel like whoever this person is that's around you or whatever this challenge that you are going through, I feel like right now you understand what you have to do in life, but you still feeling frustrated because you feel like you are left out in the unknown. You feel like uh, so, uh, this in and out energy or whatever it is, is like you are realizing how people really try to play you and know your value, okay? So let's go ahead. A spirit woman to tell you with the Ace of Swords basically being in reverse. This is dealing with a lot of logic, okay? So I feel like don't be feeling like you held back about to do whatever you need to do, okay? Spirit woman to tell you again in the downloads is two roles that you're going through on this fort. So I feel like you're seeing the vision of what you want. You're trying to make sure it ain't no immature energy or you, the person that you was dealing with immature and it brought you to rock rock bottom. You thought you would never hit this cycle of pain, but now you're seeking happiness. Not only that, you had a setback and direction towards this new starting point, towards your happiness, and it's coming back to you. Now you got to realize, Virgo, even though things are cover up, you are finding a resolution to go through these options and being more intuitive and being more patient in order to release out this pain towards your full abundance. So you being back in your tradition, dealing with your, your emotions, becoming more, and tapping into it, being more of an empath, or somebody may be coming in, being an empath to help you get through this journey and on this slow process. Again, don't feel like it's a setback or a failure of will about somebody or anything that was trying to juggle a situation. I feel like it's no longer juggling. I feel like with the Two of Pentacles basically being in reverse, this choice that you got to take, you got to be willing and understand that it's a lack of balance or it may be something that you weren't about or a partnership loss that you can wor uh, that you are worried about because it was no justice for you or you didn't receive the clarity or receive the recognition or receive the reciprocation that you needed. So I feel like Virgo is something that you start about to express yourself and start manifesting and start getting yourself back into that starting point again that's going to take you out of bondage, that's going to take you out, you out feeling trapped and out of self-victimized, okay? Now, even though you are starting to go through this, Two of Pentacles. You, uh, you're on the road towards stability, but right now you're trying to see. Don't worry about the balance right now. Don't be confused and have a lack of trust about whatever's not coming in suitable for you, Virgo. This is a challenge and this is a spirit woman to tell you. You got to understand you are going through self-reflection mode right now. So it will be challenging if you are in relationship with somebody and it will be challenging for the next couple of weeks on this as well. So this is kind of like a, a warning at the same time because you at this crossroad where one of them seeking happiness uh, and you being a visionary. The other one is uh, trying to cover up some ego, but you know you got options and the resolution is just don't feel like you held back. Make that most valid choice that you need and don't let anything that creates you to suffer, even though you may conf be confused, it's some injustice, a lack of balance, some manipulated truth, but you got to be more perceptive and more analytical at the task at hand and manifest whatever you need to manifest to logically to get you out of this trapped state or self-victimization, okay, Virgo? Now, not only that, Spirit Woman to tell you, Spirit Guys in the Universe, what else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern Venus? I feel like right now, Virgo, the main thing, you need to seek the lesson at hand. Be a, Use your third eye and do some meditation or uh, look up what the wolf is as a spirit animal and see how it is and, and it'll give you a message of what to do. So I feel like even though you be in a vision, you're seeking the lessons right now as well. And even though things are covering up for you, Virgo, uh, not covering up, even though things may be covered up and uh, maybe some conflicts and revolution, even dealing with your ego, spirit woman to tell you, have that tough skin for this challenge and be patient. 
patient. It's time for you to work on your heart chakra, your uh, work on uh, some of you may need rose quartz to help you out, but start being more of you. Start being more of that color. And Spirit also want me to tell you it's time for you, even with this moon cycle, to follow the intuition of the moon. Even though you're feeling held back, follow the moon and follow out what you need to manifest in your life and everything is going to come to fruition. Now, on the spiritual sense right now, I also feel like right now you may be blind, but all eyes on you as, uh, as well. Right now, we got the justice card basically being in reverse, so it's letting me know again. Spirit wants you to understand anything that's trying to manipulate you. Spirit got your back. All eyes on you. It's time for you to seek the lesson and be patient. Uh, Queen of Cups basically being in reverse as well as letting me know, even though you may have a little emotional instability right now going through this cycle. Spirit want me to tell you, don't be jealous about no one. Don't thrive on no attention and be competitive. Continue to focus on you and be patient dealing with your emotions and let everything go into fruition. Now, make sure uh, Six of Pentacles, Spirit want me to also tell you, make sure you have the proper balance. Don't be imbalanced on what you see right now with stability. You got to follow your intuition with the follow the moon and follow Follow your emotions and express yourself freely. That's what's going to get you out of this trapped emotional state with the Eight of Swords basically being upright as well. Not only that, with the Page of Cups basically being in reverse, you also don't miss the opportunity. Be able to express your feelings. Because long as you trapped in your mind mentally, you will not be able to express yourself the way you need to be. And I feel like that's a huge challenge for you right now, Virgo, is not expressing yourself. It's cool to let it out. But it's understand it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But when you get in an emotional state, Virgo, this is when you lose control. So make sure you stay your, keep yourself emotionally balanced. Now, we're going to work on transformation. Uh, Matangi Mudra uh, helps you in assimilation, uh, vital energy, and life purpose. Uh, how you do this, interlace the, interlace the fingers of both hands with the right thumb over the left thumb. Extend the middle finger straight out with the pads of the two fingers touching. Rest the body of the wrist and the solar plexus just where the ribs meet. Relax down the shoulders and lift in the spine. This also enhances digestion, assimilation of life experience, supports circulation, lymphatic systems, cultivates energy, passion, and divine will. This is what you focus on, Virgo. Inner light illuminates and guides me on my path. Inner light illuminates and guides me on my path. Okay, Virgo? So let's go ahead and get an affirmation. I am strong. That's an affirmation for you. I am strong. And now we get one more. Uh, this is dealing with working career. My positive vibration attracting exciting work opportunities. And I hope y'all get it. Okay, let's see what's one healing message that you need to work on with healing. Uh, self-love. It's time for you to focus on self-love, Virgo. Shine, illuminate, uh, illuminate yourself the way it needs to be. Go take yourself on spa days. Go do something for you. Take a trip for yourself. Just time to enjoy life. This will help you also balance yourself during this uh, cycle as well, okay? So with that basically being said, I just want to say... I love you. God love you. The universe love you. Make sure you keep that vision going. Make sure you make a resolution within yourself from being held back and feeling like you at rock bottom. Seek that happiness that it is. Whatever path that you take, Virgo, just do it to the best of your ability and everything will be okay. So let's say, I love you. God love you. The universe love you. Peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. Make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Talk to your boy. Also, if you want a uh, personal, make sure you hit the description box below. We'll get it together. So, peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. I love you, baby. Y'all have a safe and wonderful weekend. Until I see y'all to the next time, I say, I say, namaste. Yeah.